Good evening, boys and girls, ladies, mm. and a gentleman. Turn the lights down low and shut your faces as I wrap you in the cozy blanket of a story. A story as heartwarming and soft as a mother's kiss. Or is it? Shh. Once upon a time, there was a boat. Now, this wasn't just any boat, children. It was a ship. A ship full of friends. Hundreds of friends. Best friends, one and all. A veritable friendship it was. Get it? But it wouldn't be very ladylike of me if I didn't mention the most noteworthy friend on board. Hattie Hattington. Say hi to Hattie. Hattie was like King Friend of Friendship Kingdom. Best friend to one and all, and the walking definition of handsome gentleman. Now, one fine morning, Hattie and Pal set out for a new, exciting adventure. What fantastic... Fantastic wonders would they discover this time? Perhaps they'd come across a scary ghost ship. Perhaps they'd find an island made entirely of candy. Perhaps they'd meet a band of scary, swashbuckling pirates and join forces to find an island made entirely of candy. Who knew? But it didn't matter. So long as they were together, there were smiles to be had and adventures to be shared. Now today, it was a day like any other adventure day. Spirits were uncrushably high. Everyone was singing and dancing and having a jolly time. When suddenly the ocean was all like surprise. Surprise! And a huge, massive storm blew it out of nowhere. Boy, that was quick. And there was thunder. Boom! And the lightning. Boom! And the wind. Boom! And like that. It was over. Is everyone okay? Said Hattie. I don't know what I'd do if I lost even one of you. Hattie continued. But the eye of the storm is very misleading, children. Never turn your back on it because the ocean was all like, psych! And it came back even bigger this time. Twice as big. As if Poseidon himself extended his hand in friendship and they spat in his mouth. Boy, he was pissed. He was mad. Then the rain came down like a shower of bullets, ah, ah, and the floorboards were buckling and creaking and breaking and pieces of their ship were raining down like shards of broken dreams and then Reginald comes upstairs and he's all like, I say, gentlemen, I do believe we're in quite a spot of bother and everyone else was like, really? What tipped you off, genius? And then Hattie was all like, hey, be nice, whoosh, 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 whoosh. huge giant waves thrashed the boats to and fro, fro and to, carelessly sprinkling friend after friend into the cold, unforgiving giving a piece of the deep, dark ocean. Everyone was screaming like, Help me! Splash! Splash! And there was this huge whale, like, and made it super scary. And I think there was a shark. Yep, there he is. Oh, God. And then Hattie was all like, Hold on to your butts. Land ho! And bang, bang, bang! Smash! A shipwreck, as foretold by their fate books of fate. And while it seems like the end, this is merely the beginning of another fantastic journey for the brave crew of the SS Friendship. You sure know how to make the best of a confusing and hopeless situation, but boy, this place is quite the enigma, wouldn't you say? I would. And you know, a little warning would have been nice. You know, before they threw us headfirst into this gladiatorial, prisony place with its perilous medley of twisted stage productions that shred the silky fabric which weaves together the fragile blanket of sanity that keeps us sane. But you know, whatever. Either way, it's safe to say we're in quite a pickle jar here. We gotta rescue our friends and get back to Mr. Boat. I mean, they do the same for you, and adventuring just wouldn't be the same without, I don't know, this guy. Best chef in all the land. Food so stupid delicious, one taste would blow your face through the back of your head. Like bang, splat! And who could forget this quirky fellow? You know, he owns a bat farm back home, and his lifelong dream is to breed a terrifying race of super bats. None of which makes any sense, of course, because he's absolutely terrified of bats. And this lovely lass always tells the best bedtime stories, hands down. Plus, she always smells like chocolate, so that's good. And then there's this guy, and this handsome fellow, and that thing. All your best friends imprisoned, and they don't like it very much because it's bad and horrible. And then there's Hattie, the best friend of all. Why did he stab us in the back and twist the blade? I mean, just this morning, he gave everybody flowers and presents, and now he goes out of his way to hurt our feelings? Oh, I think not. You can't fool me. Hattie would never betray us. B betray us. Never! Something fishy's going on here, and I think I don't like it right now at all. It must have something to do with that scary, albeit fashionable hat. Sure looks evil. I mean, it's glowing red and stuff. Glowy red stuff is always bad. Everybody knows that. So what's day Dangerous treats lie in store as we continue to unravel this treacherous sweater. I don't know, but use caution as you continue your gallant endeavor. Don't, don't like, fail and die and stuff, because it's all up to you now. 
What? Why did why did do that? That was that was scary. <laughs> All right. All right. Hey, it's Grant. Um, so, so I want to play a bit of I want to do battle theater, theater. theater, but, but unfortunately, unfortunately, um, you can't, can't reset, reset your game memory. memory. So, so what, what you, you saw there was just really the two cutscenes cut that I had access to in, in the movie theater. theater. Just, just so, so you guys, guys know, know what. what, what? So we're, so we're in, in chapter, chapter two, two, which is great. great. I mean, we've been like skipping, skipping ahead. ahead. So we're gonna head up here. Um, all right, right, right here. I would love to tell you where they put the gems, but I'm not gonna. So the goal of this game is to uh, collect all the gems. gems.
feel like it's supposed to use the other guy's head to get the Or use one of these, I guess. Would be a valid option. Uh, I just don't do that. Okay, 
Oh, oh no. no. the bullet so far. You don't even complain about the prison food, which is shocking because that stuff tastes like doo-doo casserole with a side of butt salad. But best of all, your riveting performances have the theater bursting at the seams with excited patrons. And with all this extra cash you're raking in, the theater can afford some serious improvements and really start beefing up these horrifying shows of murdery death to appease the fickle crowd. So, so that's good. And what's the deal with Hattie? He just creepily looms around the theater all day. Look at him looming. It seems like he's been forcefully forced to manage this place. Well, it looks that way. He just sort of sits there. Just as productive as one can be. Yep, living life to the fullest. Whoa, slow down, buddy. Yes, sir, full of salt and pep. Full of pea and vinegar. Overflowing with youthful energy. Say something, Hattie. <laughs> Cat got your tongue? Shut up. <laughs> People really seem to be a precious and rare commodity in this strange part of the world. Seems our little boat wreck was a delicious gift from the heaven. Gods, and these bizarre cats are taking full advantage of us. What cruel fate left them to roam the grounds of this scary old theater, desperately ruling these bleak premises with an iron f paw? And just how long have they been orchestrating this sinister scheme? I mean, avert your eyes, children. Avert them! There's bony people skeletons everywhere. Scary, right? Now, I'm no genius, but I definitely know how long it takes for a body to decompose. So this must have been going on for at least... Oh, wait, scratch that. Thing I said. <clears throat> so do you possess the courage to soldier onward and uncover the mysterious mystery behind this grim world? <laughs> or will your hilarious death screams be drowned out by the sound of your own hilarious death screams? We shall see. We shall see. We shall see. You see? <laughs> I love this game. It's beautiful. So that's all the time we have for today. So I will see you in the next chapter. Peace out. I'm gonna keep going, just kind of. I wanna go to the uh, gift shop. Peace out, guys. Just, you know, let's see what I got. Come on. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>